right, you guys, let's get right into it. It comes a point when you're drafting uh, that you go out and hit on your draft pick. And when you're talking about this guy right here, Kyle Hamilton, whoever gets Kyle Hamilton is definitely going to get a stud at safety. He's going to be patrolling the back end of the defense. The guy is a thumper. The guy is a ball hawk. And he brings it to the table every single play. I saw Notre Dame play. And when I saw Notre Dame play, and I heard about this kid, Kyle Hamilton, from several different people. I said, I, I got to go watch the film on this guy. I want to see what Kyle Hamilton brings to the table. And in that game, man, I was so enamored with what I saw out on the field. The dude came down and made two interceptions. I mean, literally almost back to back. And I said, yes. And then I saw another game against Notre Dame against Purdue. And I saw Kyle Hamilton come across and lay out David Bell. Now, are you trying to hurt people out on the football field? Uh, not really. No, you're not really trying to hurt anybody. But you're, you, know, you, you are trying to be physical. Football is a physical sport. And when I think about Kyle Hamilton and should the Detroit Lions draft him, of course, I'm going to say yes. You know, this is one of the safeties that's on my big board. Kyle Hamilton is definitely a top five selection. Would I take him overall number one? Maybe. Maybe because I, I think that highly of him. I think that highly of him. And they say, you know, why, why would you do that when we took Jeff Okuda uh, third overall and he panned out and he's right now he's uh looking like a bus right now. Well, there comes a time when you know that a player is different from another player. They play two different positions. You know, Jeff Okuda was supposed to come in and be a press man corner, but he's not really good at it. And we'll talk about that at a later day. But we're here to talk about Kyle Hamilton. And Kyle Hamilton is a safety. And the dude is a ball hawk. He reminds me of a little bit of Quandre Diggs and Glover Quinn mixed together in one body. And the reason why I say that is, is because when Quandre Diggs was on the team, he was a thumper. He was a hitter. Quandre Diggs, as small as he was, he would come up and hit you and plant you. Same thing that Kyle Hamilton can do. He will come out and lay you out. Kyle Hamilton, Kyle Hamilton is the type of dude that will come in and rip your face mask off your helmet and leave you there on the ground. That's the type of dude I want on my team. I want a dude that I can go to war with in the trenches. And being a foxhole with. And I definitely think if the Detroit Lions was to draft this talented safety, he would be an enforcer back there. He would make the other guys even better. I think that whatever team gets him, they're going to get a leader ultimately. But I think that this guy just has a knack to be around the football. Every time I've watched Kyle Hamilton, whether I watched his film or I watched his highlights or whatever I was watching of Kyle Hamilton, I see that he has a knack to be around the ball. And I want guys like that because I want guys getting strip sacks. I want guys punching the ball out. I want guys being able to play on the blocks, on a box, and go out there and literally just rip somebody's face mask off. I mean, you want that. If you're the Detroit Lions, you need as much talent as you can get. Would I draft him number one? I know a lot of y'all saying, why would you take him number one? Why, would you, why are you saying that? Why would you take this guy number one? Because I think that he would be a game changer. I would take him at one. I would do something that a lot of people probably wouldn't think I would do. But I think that highly of this player that I think that he would have some type of impact on my team. When I'm looking, when I'm when I'm thinking about the first round, I'm thinking about guys that are plug and play guys, guys that's gonna come in right away and make noise. You need these guys to make an impact on your team so your team can transition into getting better. And I think that Cal Hamilton fits that bill. He's a guy that's going to bring it. He plays with a lot of passion, a lot of fire. And he's going to make ultimately the, the, the secondary better. He will be your enforcer back there. And he will be patrolling all over the field. Because I saw this guy come across the field. And the play wasn't even directed towards his way. He ran across the, the opposite side of the field and made an interception. And when I saw that, I knew that this guy had a, a knack to be able to go out there and get that football. And that's what I want, man. If you're the Detroit Lions, you need as much talent as you can get. Would I take him at uh, number one? Maybe. Yeah, it's a possibility. I would probably do something different. 
But I know that that's not the norm. You know, people don't just go up and draft the safety. You don't do that all the time. But depending on how good this guy is and what type of impact he's going to make on my team, that's something that I have to take into consideration. I think that Cal Hamilton is that good. I love this player. I love I, 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 lo- I love his game. I love everything that he brings to the table. To me, if I had a choice and you asked me who, who would I take, Kayvon or Cal Hamilton, I'm probably going to take Cal Hamilton. And I know you're like, man, come on, man. Why would you take up pass? We need pass rush. It, at this point, it doesn't matter. Right now, Charles, Charles Harris is playing pretty decent out there. And I know that you can actually get a stud, you know, um, you could get another guy in Hutchison if you can possibly get him or you just have to be able to find talent. You have to have a keen eye to be able to find talent. And when you see talent, man, you have to go out there. And I think that Kyle Hamilton is a werewolf. I think that this dude is a silverback. And I definitely think that he would ultimately transform the Detroit Lions defense. He would be the Ed Reed of the Detroit Lions because Ed Reed was nice. He would come up and hit you. And he also was a guy that was able to pick off passes. That's what the Detroit Lions need. So if Brad Holmes have Kyle Hamilton on the big board, he definitely must consider a player like this of this type of caliber. Because guys like Kyle Hamilton at that size, six foot four, 220 pounds, they don't come around every day. It's not every day that you're going to find a guy to play safety that's six foot four and that is pretty good. So I really, really think that the Detroit Lions have to have him on the big board. They got to uh, take it into consideration, even if they decide to trade down. If somebody is willing to come up to get the number one pick and they, they may want Malik Willis or they may want Kayvon Thibodeau. If Kyle Hamilton is available, I'm taking him. That's without a question. I want Kyle Hamilton to be a part of my franchise because I think that this guy is going to change uh, the back end of the defense. Will Harris is not the guy. Tracy Walker is kind of subpar. He has he has he has his ups and downs, I'll say about Tracy Walker. But when I think about Kyle Hamilton, I think about a guy that w- will ultimately help this Detroit Lions team get better. And that's what you want to do in 2022 20, uh, is just get better. Right now in 2021, it doesn't look good. The team possibly can go 0-17. Like I said before, Dan Campbell has been dealt a bad hand and he's playing with house money. But it's all about going out and get talent. That's one thing I love to talk about. I love to talk about prospects. And I think that he would make a great additional uh, addition, I mean, I should say, uh, to the Detroit Lions uh, team. Cal Hamilton is a guy that I got on my big board. And this guy is not coming off my big board because I feel like this guy is that good where he can ultimately come in and be a game changer on the defensive side of the ball. He's going to come up and hit you. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to play with that fire and that passion and ultimately help change the defense of the Detroit Lions because they need talent. They need faces. They need people that are going to make plays. It's not too many uh, guys that they have in the secondary that make plays. Besides right now, um, Amani Awarie, who's been making plays for the Lions, getting a couple picks here and there. He hasn't been the best, but he still has been able to make some plays. You know, you don't really get too many plays out of the secondary from the Lions since uh, Glover Quinn has left. You know, when Glover Quinn was back there, he was a ball hawk, picking off everything. I think he had probably, what, 19 career interceptions with the Detroit Lions. So, so far, Glover Quinn has probably been one of the best safeties for the Detroit Lions. But Cal Hamilton, I think that can, he can come in and rewrite the books. Cal Hamilton is that talented. He is that dude. And the dude is a flat-out werewolf. And I need you. I want you, and I need you. A part of this team. So hopefully, man, the Detroit Lions will do their homework. Um, if they decide to trade down and Cal Hamilton is there, definitely I make the selection to pick Cal Hamilton at safety because I think that it's the right pick. And I think ultimately he'll be a guy that'll be a face on the defense. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. Raw Detroit. Peace.